Now for this last part of the question then, we've got to deduce the number of real solutions for this equation here, where theta is greater than or equal to 7 pi but less than 10 pi. So from the first part, or an earlier part, okay, we had this equation here, and we found out that there was only one solution to it. That was because there was that factor x minus 2 equals 0 leads to x equals 2. The other factor, the quadratic factor, the discriminant was less than 0, so there was no solution. So all I need to do now, when I look at comparing these two equations, you can see that x is being replaced with tan theta. So what I've got here then is if we let tan theta be that x, then tan theta must be equal to 2. So we just need to find out how many solutions this ha equation has in this range here. And to do it, all I need to do, or well, the way I'm going to do it anyway, is draw a quadrant diagram. I think you'll find this is the quickest way. Um, I'm assuming you're familiar then with the quadrant diagrams. Again, if not, do check out my tutorials on this. So I've taken zero degrees or zero radians. Okay, we're going to be working in radians. And we're looking for positive values of theta. So that's turning in an anti-clockwise sense. And tangent is positive because we've got positive 2 there in the first quadrant. That's that one there. Okay, so draw a line inclined to the horizontal here. And it's also positive in the third quadrant. Okay, so you should have another line down here equally inclined. Okay, these two angles should be exactly the same. So the solutions that we would want would be ones that start from here, turn in an anti-clockwise sense to the blue lines that you see here. So there'll be one solution here, starting back here again, there'll be another one there, going back again, there'll be another one all the way around to there, and so on. Keep turning round till we get hit a blue line. The thing is, we want to know how many solutions are in this range. So let's just have a look at what we could have. So we've got this quadrant, so that's going to be between naught and this one over here, which would be pi radians if we were to turn half a turn. If I was to start again, go all the way around here, I'd pass pi radians, and this would be between, or it'd be more than pi, but less than 2 pi. So that's what we would have over there. If I was to start again, go all the way around here, back to this one, then this is between 2 pi and the one over here, 3 pi. Now if I was to keep this up, on this side I've got all the even multiples of pi. So in other words, you've got 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, and 10 pi. Whilst on this side you've got all the odd multiples of pi. So working back we've got from 3 pi, we've got 5 pi, and we've got 7 pi, and we've got 9 pi. So how many solutions am I going to have then in this range? Well, starting from here, I'm going to keep going round and round until I get into ranges like this, okay? Now, if I keep going round and round, I've got to pass the 6 pi, I'm going to go past the 7 pi, and I'm going to be just greater than 7 pi when I'm on this side here. So I'm going to go keep going round and round and round, okay? I can't draw all the times I keep going round, but hopefully you can imagine it, okay? And my first solution lands on this one. It's greater than 7 pi, but less than the 8 pi here. I carry on round, get to this one, and I'm greater than 8 pi, but still less than 10 pi. So that's going to be my second solution. Carrying on round here again, I'm going to pass the 9 pi now, but still be less than 10 pi. So I'm going to land on this one here, and there'll be another solution there, my third solution. Okay, so once I carry on beyond here, I'm going to be going to this one, but I'm going to pass the 10 pi, okay? So can you see then that there's going to be a 
total of three solutions. The one that exceeds the 7 pi, the one that exceeds the 8 pi, and the one that exceeds 9 pi. Three solutions. So therefore, we have three solutions in that range. So I hope that method's been clear for you. It's the method that I prefer. I'm sure there's a graphical method out there that you could use, but I think that's going to take longer. Okay, so that's just my, in my opinion.